I haven't failed. I just found 10,000 ways that don't work. These are true words spoken by the famous inventor Thomas Edison. During the phase of iteration, prototypes are tested by users whose feedback is used to generate further ideas that end in a new or at least evolved version of the prototype, which will be tested again and again and so on until it works. Iteration has the following effects. Learning to trial and error means that every step of the iteration process results in a continuous evolvement of the prototype and its features. Learning to experiment and experience. Once again, connecting and co-creating in an intense way with representatives of target groups. Receiving impulses repeatedly to go back and check assumptions and ideas. Thus, finding and applying more refined questions. Prototyping. Prototyping helps to build in order to think. This allows you to get to better solutions faster. Gather feedback from stakeholders and end users. This helps you to learn and move forward with your idea. Fail early to succeed sooner. This way you can make inexpensive mistakes early on, rather than finding out that something isn't working too far down the line, when repairing has become much more costly. Prototyping can also be approached in a co-creative way, involving problem owners, stakeholders and users in different phases of development. But what is a prototype? A prototype is a model of an idea. For instance, for a product, service, concept, design or other. Keywords used to describe a prototype are Get tangible quickly. Get rough. Get physical. Tell your story to the world. It should be self-explanatory and it's the basis for further iterations. Share and reflect. Present your prototype to different users, stakeholders and challenge owners. Consider your audience. Try to recreate a scenario in which your users will most likely use the product, service, idea or concept. How do you share? You might tell a story, act out a skit or create a playful advertisement for your prototype. What you must not do. Don't try to sell your idea, don't defend it, don't over explain how the prototype works. Mm -hmm. What you should do, listen actively and welcome constructive criticism. Pay attention to body language. While collecting feedback, make sure that you are not disrupting the user's interaction with the prototype. Find a way to collect feedback that allows you to observe what's happening. And again, some remarks and hints for using iteration in a lecture. Part of a productive learning process is to create artifacts. This can be anything from text to a 3D prototype object. Like the steps in the defining phase, this is another important implementation of deeper learning and tangibility. Iterating contributes to a learning experience that is like a 360 degree approach to different topics and related problems. It helps students to perceive their options for actions, to plan them and translate them into action. Design thinking is not about a theoretical approach. Iteration contributes to learning settings that are intensely connected to real-world problems. And it points out ways to tackle these. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.